is drunk at this point. I'm gonna take you to some crumbs. Be a boss here, Munich. Now, some say. Craft beer is a crime here in the city. Of course, this is just an expression due to the historically significant beer culture here. So perhaps by breaking the law, I'm going to take you to some of the best craft beer spots in town. This all started in 1516 with the Bavaria Purity Law. Why? To keep it simple. There should be no weird stuff in beer. Just these four ingredients. Enough talk. Let's drink. First stop is Tap House, located in the trendy area of Heidhausen here in Munich. Now Tap House is perhaps the largest of all the places I go to. Plenty of seating, lots of space, easy drinking, and some food here as well. This spot offers a great choice of beers with over 200 to choose from and 40 on tap. And if you're curious about the local brewer Cambo, this is perhaps the best spot where you can try out all of their different brews. Yeah, Cambo has a couple of different brews available. They have their international gear. They have some more of the local traditional styles as well. The Camber IPA is a must try and a crowd favourite. Highly recommended. Very friendly staff and great prices. Totally recommended. So I couldn't do this video without bringing you to Frisch's beer. Let's check it out. Located in the old slaughterhouse district, this place has a cozy atmosphere for an after-work beer. The selection of beers here is impressive, with 14 available on tap. Around one third of the beers are brewed by Tillman Brewing. Plus, there's a small food menu if you get a little peckish. One of the other spots you have to come and try out is True Brew Brewing Company. Let's take a look. This brewery is just around the corner from Frisch's Beer and offers a great selection of its own brews on tap. The bar embraces a unique style and the staff is friendly. Really cozy place, just like hanging out in your own lounge room. What goes better with beer than pizza? Then welcome to Saluki. Could you imagine a selection of craft brews perfectly complemented by the rustic flavor of Neapolitan pizzas? Here you'll find both beer enthusiasts and foodies. Let me just say, an inviting ambience, friendly staff and the super duo of beer and pizza make this an absolute must visit. Now, another local neighborhood delight, Bruce Lee. You'll be happy here, trust me. Just like the other places, Bruce Lee have their own dedication to quality and innovation. Can't get hidden in plain sight, this craft beer bar has a brew for just about everybody. And a comfy couch. They have a tasting menu, just in case you're not ready to fully commit to one beer. I think this place is my new favorite and offering an ever-changing list of craft beers. The bar's warm and inviting atmosphere is something certainly worth coming back to. And now, for a little bit of a hidden gem, Hop Dog. An establishment that's known for its lively atmosphere, craft beer, and you guessed it, hot dogs. Hop dog is said to be in the middle of an area they call the Bermuda Triangle. Most of the locations mentioned in this video also reside there too. They have an impressive range of craft beers here, served with craft and care. 
The beats here are great and, well, of course, the dogs. Chili cheese was my favorite for sure. Oh, and no, they won't turn the music down. What a great place Hop Dog was. Check out the beers, check out the dogs, and you will be damn happy. And last in our little tour, Higgins Ale Works, which is somewhere between the Munich Main Station and Stiegel Meyer Place at Higgins. They encourage you to follow the flavor trail. Let's go and try and find out why. The space and decor is rustic but small and fits the scene pretty well. And due to the size of the space, it fills up pretty fast, so get here early. A lot of people drop in and get some takeaway. Good option also. So whether you're a craft beer enthusiast or just want to try something a little bit different from the regular Munich beers, any of these places will have something special for everyone. Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. And no, it's not illegal to choose that like button.